Hello everyone, we have more previews for the next set of Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy. Um, yeah, we're just going over the uh, article first, so let's take a look here. Just a few weeks ago we provided a first look at Shadows of the Galaxy, the second set of Star Wars Unlimited. Um, yeah, in that first look we showed off some cards from the upcoming uh, two-player starter and we also previewed two of the new mechanics and today we'd like to take a look at the third new mechanic, Smuggle! So we're finally going to see what Smuggle is all about. Now then, uh, let's take a look here. If a card you previously resourced has the Smuggle keyword, it allows you to play that card by paying its Smuggle cost. The keyword always comes uh, paired with a cost, including aspect icons, uh, which is usually different than the normal cost, oftentimes slightly more. When you play a card using Smuggle, you immediately put the top card of your deck into play as a resource exhausted uh, to replace it. Keep in mind, the Smuggle card stays as a resource until the moment you played it. So you can always use the card to help pay for its own smuggle cost. That's interesting. That's very... And we're going to take a look at some, um, yeah, cards that have smuggle in a moment. Uh, four of which are presented in the article itself. Uh, come to think of it, the others, they don't have that keyword. But still, we, we are going to see four cards with smuggle. Um, right, there are all sorts of applications to this ability. First and foremost, the ability allows you to store an otherwise too expensive card for later. Such as the case uh, with the Vigilant Pursuit Craft. Um, as we can see here, uh, this card has uh, a cost of 5. It's a 3-5 with Sentinel. And it has a smuggle ability with um and it's hard to see because it's so small but i have the cards up later seven a blue aspect icon um and then you can play it for its smuggle cost uh in the early game you may need a sentinel unit in space right away so you can uh, resource the ship without worry later as the uh, battle grows more intense if you find yourself needing a sentinel unit to defend the space arena, you can smuggle the pursuit craft into play. That's a very interesting thing, because uh, cards with smuggle, you can easily resource them more easily than uh, other cards, I think. And um, when the time is right, you can actually play them for a, a higher cost. Uh, granted, not all of the smuggle cards will be useful in that way some will be useful by outright playing them but yeah i can see the gist of it so many cards like the uh, vigilant pursuit craft use smuggle as a bonus feature an alternate way to get the card into play many other cards however gain additional power or abilities when smuggled into play for example the privateer crew it's a two cost two two uh, in green it has smuggle cost what does it say six i believe Again, we're going to take a look at these cards in more detail a bit later, better quality. Uh, but yeah, six and green, and then when played using Smuggle, give three experience tokens to this unit. Then basically it will become a six cost, two, two, uh, sorry, five, five, without any abilities. Is that good? Well, you may need it later on, but this is just a blank vanilla character for six that's quite a lot uh for only five so um yeah just like they say over here uh units aren't the only cards uh, that can have the smuggle keyword some events have it as well such as timely intervention uh which is a card that costs one and play a unit from your hand give it ambush for this face or you can either smuggle it and then it costs uh two so only for one more. So that's um, that's actually not too bad, I think. I think this card is 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 really nice. So uh, right, there are upgrades with it as well, such as the Hotshot DL44 Blaster, which is a weapon, an item for one 
It gives a, a, a non-vehicle unit plus two, plus zero. But it also has smuggle, um, namely smuggle three, if I can read it correct, but in yellow. So this is a different cost. So if, for example, you are playing red, of course this card is going to be cost one. But if you don't play yellow, then its smuggle cost will be bumped up to five. But when played using smuggle, attack with attached unit. So it's uh, quite a simple trick. If you are already playing red and yellow, it may fit into that. Uh, but other than that, we, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's going to be that great of a card yet. But then again, we haven't seen uh, the rest of the set yet. On the other hand, plus two plus zero and an attack for two. Hmm. Quick shot is a good card as well, but it gives a lot more. But it's only once. This is actually um, for as long as the weapon is attached. So it may be, it it, it may actually be quite useful. Right. Uh, sometimes the smuggle cost uses different aspects than the card's normal cost. In the case of the blaster, it is normally an aggression card, but if you uh, play it using smuggle, it becomes a cunning card instead. This means uh, you can. You could play it in a cunning deck with vigilance or command as your uh, other primary aspect. Uh, and you won't have to pay the aspect penalty as long as you smuggle it in. And that's another thing that, that that's really nice. You don't even have to play red. Aggression. That's very cool. So, uh, the smuggle keyword opens up all sorts of new strategies and options for both deck building and gameplay. Uh, that said, we only just scratched the surface. Right coming weeks we will be taking a look at that as well um on my discord channel um the all about tcg's just uh, discord channel i have made as you can see here uh star wars unlimited we have card leaks and in here i posted uh yeah some leaks for the game and today i i just posted these cards uh so First of all, I did not review this card from last time because it came out after the stream. I was already making a video when this came out, so I was like, fine, I'm going to include it in the next video. So that's why I'm all also not... I didn't uh, make a video right away because I wanted to wait for additional spoilers. And it's good that I did. Because we have the Mandalorian here, and it is a um, Vigilant and Heroism card. For six, it's a five, six. Mandalorian Bounty Hunter. And he has Sentinel. Now that in itself is nice. Uh, but when played, you may heal all damage from a unit that costs two or less, and give two shield tokens to it. So if you're gonna take a look at a uh, little Grogu here. Oh, that's a really, really small... Well, Grogu is a cost of two. So you can heal all of his damage and give him two shield tokens. That's really, really nice. Next up, um, the cards that were in the article. So here we can see them in a little bit more quality. So we have a Vigilant Pursuer Craft. Like I said, a smuggle cost is seven instead of five. And then it becomes a three, five Sentinel. For seven, uh, like the article said, if you just um, resource it and if you need it later on and you have the resources, I guess so. But it's not one of the first cards that I'm um, thinking about. Although smuggle is a very powerful keyword the way I see it. You can just build up for later things. Then we have timely intervention. I think this is a really, really solid card. If you play it for one, uh, play in a unit from your hand, give it ambush for this phase, or you can play it later on for two and just do the same thing. Of course, you will still have to uh, pay for the cost for the creature, so uh, for the uh, for the unit. So basically it becomes uh, an extra resource or two and it gets uh, ambush. I think it's a very good card. And it's only a common. Oh, and this other one was a common as well. And Mando is a legendary. Just so you know. Then we have our first rare here, the Hotshot DL44 Blaster, uh, which is the card that we saw in the preview as well. And this has, like I said, a cost a smuggle cost of three. The more that I look at this card, the more I'm thinking I it's it can actually be a 
a decent card. It, it's 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 only costing one or three, depending on the colors that you play, um, and if you smuggle it. But if you smuggle it, you can attack with it immediately. So it's going to be a more expensive uh, version of the yellow card. It gives a plus three, plus zero, and attack with a unit. I kind of forgot uh, the name. Um, but it remains on the characters, uh, on the unit. So that's really nice. Next up, we have the Privateer um, crew. Uh, yeah, it is a cost of six, just as I saw before. And another new card is the Cartel Turncoat, which is a space unit for one. It's a two, three. And it has Bounty, Bounty Draw card. It has Bounty printed on the card itself, so uh, if you're gonna play this, your opponent will have an incentive to kill it. Um, but then again, it's a, it's a one cost, two, three. Is the Bounty worth it for you to still play it? That depends on you. Do you mind getting your, uh, giving your opponent a card, or do you not mind? Uh, or, 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 or are you just very control heavy in space? And do you just... Uh, wipe out all op opposition there who knows it's up to you time will tell i guess but uh, a cost of one uh, two three that, that's that's decent very decent then we have crosshair our first uh, bad batch character following orders it's a four cost um command and uh villainous card um, for a 2-6. It is a clone, it is a trooper, it's imperial, uh, it's an uncommon, so that's nice. What was the other one again? Oh, that's a common, okay. Uh, so it's an uncommon and it has two actions. The first action is uh, you've got to pay two and then this unit gets plus one plus zero for this phase. The other action is you can exhaust it um, and then it deals damage equal to its power to an enemy ground unit. That's, That's not, not too bad. bad. Uh, six is really uh, good to have on a character, and yeah, the cost of four, it's it's really doable. Turn three, you can uh, put it into play. And the next turn, you can um, boost it up to four, and then kill something on four. I, I, I think it's a decent card, very decent card. And then finally, we have Unexpected Escape. For one, it's um, a Vigilance card, it's a trick. And it says, exhaust a unit. You may rescue a capture card guarded by that unit. And that is something um, we have seen in the previous video that there are some cards go, uh, that are going to be some cards that, that actually capture units. I think this is very, very situational. It's an uncommon for the cost of one, so that's low, but it doesn't do anything else. Well, well, it, it exhausts, exhausts a unit. Okay, okay. Fair, fair enough. It, it exhausts, exhausts a unit. That in itself can be uh, can be nice, but you may rescue a captured card guarded by that unit. That's very, very situational. Um, but because it says exhaust a unit, I think, especially in uh, limited, it's going to be a well-played card. It's going to be very, very nice to have. Right. So, so there, there you have it for the spoiled cards. cards. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you all for watching. watching. Join, Join the Discord, Discord if you want to, that, that we have just seen. seen. It is free, so, so the link is in the description down below. below. If you want to join the Patreons and um, support the channel even more, you can do that as well, just like these Patreons on screen right now. Thank you all very much to them. And yeah, I hope to see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.